this is Candy Shaw in Atlanta with Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I hope you've been tuning in to learn some new haircutting techniques as well as some of my balayage techniques. I'm going to share with you today the pinwheel. The pinwheel is a technique that I absolutely love when I'm wanting to make a star in the hair and I'm only wanting to hit some of the key areas around my pinwheel. So what I do is I come in and I paint some of the areas in the bang and around the haircut using my Sunlights and 40 Volume Cream Developer. And I just go around the haircut like so. I put a couple of little highlights in a star pattern around the haircut. Then, in order to create seamless highlights in the rest of the haircut, I tease up the top and it creates more of an ombre effect in the sense that what it does is it just lightens the ends. So I take my lightener, my paddle, and then I begin to paint at the ends only. Here. This is a minking technique that I use as well, sometimes with a darker color. But in this case, what I'm doing is I'm just taking my lightener and my paddle, and I'm using the pressure and the teasing to paint onto the ends and I turn, and the effect that this is gonna give once it dries is a soft, seamless highlight with no regrowth lines. My model here has a beautiful natural color level red that's about a level eight, and what I love about that is this is just going to create almost as if she went out and got in the sun. So you can see by teasing that up, pushing the scalp down, and just painting the sunlights onto the ends, the kind of effect that you will get. Then you have your pinwheel highlights, which will bounce out from underneath your star pattern, and you'll get a great seamless highlight on a short haircut.